Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Kung Fu Beer. We are here at West uh, Peach Springs, out uh, west of Selegman, headed through Needles on our way to Barstow. I pushed the wrong button there. And uh, we're, we're right here on the BNSF 9182. It's an SD70. We got ourselves a uh, unit train, which is very heavy. I was asked if I can uh, run this uh, without breaking couples and stuff, couplers. 13,500 tons, 2.7 on the HPT. It's not very long, but uh, 97 loads. So let's see what we can do. Let's see if we break stuff. Hang tight. Be right back. All right, I'm gonna go in gear here. We are aired up. In the back, we're all good to go. Uh, let's get our dispatch going. I'm going to try to get this thing moving. I should probably fence the rear. So I have three mid DPUs, two rear, and uh, three on the front end. So, got an acknowledgement. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna bump up the rear here to squish us just a little bit. I got an indication for BNSF 9182 westbound. Right, there we go. I can hear. I can hear everything. Uh, everything moving up. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, give her a little bit of throttle here. I'm going to defense right now. Here we go. So I'm not fenced anymore. There's our coupler, coupler pressure coming from a dead stop here. Brights are on. Uh, DPU should be burning. Take a look at the very back here. That's the wrong one. That's the one we want. Yep, so we're burning in the back. We're good to go. Now our track speed is 45. I do not have the map up. I need to bring that up right now. I like running with the map, so I'm at 20 now. Grade is uh, we're downhill a little bit, so I'm gonna come off down to notch one that we are moving. And as I bring up the map for Slegman, it's gonna tell me some grades on here as well, I believe. Now starting at uh, Pika, it's going up 1.4. So I was at Peach there. A couple of pounds were light. Uh, seem to be going pretty good here from Peach. So it says it's uh, from Pika, it's 1.4 going up, coming this way. So Pika looks to be lower. I show a 1.4 up coming this way, but I'm not seeing where I am climbing for a while. So we'll keep an eye on We're doing 38 track speed again, 45. I'm going to go ahead and bring in some dynamic brakes. Let's see what we can do without running air. They just hit the dynamics. You heard them slamming a little bit against each other back there. We are on the Mateo Community Service, so you're seeing some uh, chatter up there. Let's see if I can manage my deceleration here so we don't go above 45. Couplers are looking good. 
175 on the uh, dynamic brakes. I'm actually told to uh, try to me fence again. Let me see how this works because I have not done dynamic brakes only on the DPU before. So I now have uh, trying to fence the DPU so it's in six. We are going downhill. We're definitely slowing down a little bit now. So I am uh, I am pushing, trying to get higher than six in the rear and it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that for some reason with the fence so I'm maxed out couplers look good so let me come off on the dynamics uh, the fencing and let's just let's just run this and see how it happens so at 40 and a 45 Okay, and grades going down. Definitely a lot of chatter going on here. Let's see, my braking's looking good there. I don't know why it's green instead of. All white. We are starting to speed up. I'm going to come off on the dynamics a little bit. Do that with the brakes and see what it does. We got a uh, normal speed limit here, 70 for freight. Good. Track speed still 45. Grades varying a little bit. Cruising at 41. so that's not for me they're still doing pretty well we got some curves here Let's check out take a look at our couplers are 89,000 pounds right now we're holding that 40 EOT move everything was still back there okay so we have couplers are looking good grade is still going down speed limits 
Pulled in around 40 miles an hour. I don't know why I'm not on the right. There we go. So we have moved from Peach Springs up to Cherokee, and this is where I was told there was a problem somewhere around Truxton. TPU or calm, but uh, back now. So far, so good. We're going to run this thing uh, probably up to Valentine over here and see what uh, happens. I was told that this area here was problem some. So far, everything seems to be working well. I have no air on the cars yet. Have a slight speed increase here. Pretty much tapering out, though. speeding up and slowing down but it's to be more slow down now as the grade has decreased come off uh, dynamics a little bit let's come down to 55 and see what happens there a couple of pressures decre decreasing grade is up again Or down again, I should say, but a whole degree down. Percent, not degree, but percent. And we're at Truxton now, so keep an eye on those couplers. They're looking good. It was reported was there some uh, knuckles being busted up and breaking in this area here. And they didn't know what was causing it, so I'm running it now, and so far I'm not seeing any issues. That's not me with a red, is it? No, I have a green. It's got the other line, the other uh, set of tracks here. Couplers are looking good. I'm going to come down on the dynamic braking slightly to about 40. Reduction to 40 anyways in uh, five miles. Track speed 55 here. 0.4% down. Truxton looks like a bridge. 475 is our mile post. We are coming up on the control point, coming down on the dynamic brakes here. Here's our 40 mile an hour limit. Coming up, so I'm going to raise the dynamic braking back up. Go up to 50-ish. So we're in the 40 here. My 
just set a uh, counter to make sure we clear that 40. We can speed up. But uh, with 60 on the dynamics, or 52, actually, we're slowing down a little bit too much. So I'm going to bring off down to 40. Keep an eye on our accelerometer. Couplers are at 70,000 pounds. Everything at this point seems normal. Getting a little resistance on that curve there from the coupler. So you see the coupler tension going up there. There's a pretty big spike uh, on the coupler. Ninety, which is okay, as long as we keep it under 350 or so. We're losing DPU comms due to the hills here that we're in between, little canyons. Slowing down quite a bit here, so let's uh, just let's remove the dynamic braking. Watch our couplers. So we're at 20 on the dot. Couplers are well within the range. I see the uh, train starting to slack as it's coming downhill a bit. We're on a level grade here, though. So you see a little bit of compression and uh, accordion actually, you know, the in and out, in and out compression expansion going on with those couplers. I'm gonna come out completely of dynamic brakes from setup. I'm gonna be prepared to give it a, one notch of power. grade starts to fall right as of course right as I give it some power the grade comes down now so just a little slight downhill uh, EOT beeped at us oh no that wasn't EOT and then neither was it before it was my uh, my counter hitting zero I thought what happened it was my counter I said all right we're in the Truxton flyover now I didn't do that. The rail driver decided to notch me up automatic, automatically, so I didn't touch anything, but we're in notch two now, which is okay. Couplers look good. We are speeding up just ever so slightly. Everything is gentle. Again, no air on any of the cars right now. Got 90 pounds in the reservoir. Uh, we're not idling, but we are uh, maintaining speed, exactly. 22.6 as we come over the bridge here. Amtrak's out on the road. Uh, we're in the Truxton Flyover, coming out of it now. We're going through the... Crozer Canyon coming up soon. We're going to take it all the way up to, uh, well, we'll take it as far as we can. I know we said Valentine, but, uh, well, I think Valentine should be good, but we'll keep an eye on this. Possibly where they were having problems could have been before the uh, Peach Springs, but I thought they said around Cherokee and the canyon. So we're about to hit the canyon now. We're going to have to keep an eye on this. We're almost... 2% down, so I'm going to go ahead and come off of all my notch. I'm at 25, so I'm at a good speed. We're track speed 55, I believe. Let's take a look to verify. 
track speed's 40, but we have a 25 reduction coming in 1.6 miles. So that means we are going to need to start our, dis our slowdown if we want to make that in a mile and a half. We're only two miles over the speed limit right now of what it will be in a mile and a half. Coming up, though. So I'm going to uh, start dynamicing up. And so what I found is that if I use dynamics, if I fence my DPUs and I set uh, my dynamic braking here, so the the C, so lead, middle, and end is C DPUs. So I just uh, notched up once on the DPU right now, but I don't think that works for dynamic braking. Oh, maybe it does. Because I just went up and it went to zero. So now we're starting to run away here. So, okay, so I'm in, uh, again, I'm fencing and dynamic breaking four, but I wasn't able to get over six before, is what I was going to say. So I'm a little bit higher on the dynamics. Uh, five, whereas in the front I'm even lower. I'm just curious how high I can get it. Okay, I that time I came up to eight. I don't know what happened before. I'm at eight on the rear. I'm going to come up dynamic braking in the front end. The whole time I've been playing with dynamics, I wasn't really worried about the speed. Uh, but we're in a quarter mile, we've got to be at 25. So uh, we're just going to do a dynam dynamics and see what happens. I'm full dynamics on both the uh, front, middle, and rear of the train. And I am just now starting to come down in speed. Right at the 25 marker. So this could uh, this could be rough here. Put ten pounds on now. If I hadn't been explaining that, I probably would not have had a problem uh, right now with over speed. It's okay. Again, I'm really just trying to figure out why the couplers were breaking as you can see I have uh, quite a bit of force on the rear right now it's only 130 out of you know 300 350 I don't like to go over 300 but 350 shouldn't break all right so now we're uh, close enough to speed I'll drop the air off it's gonna take a second anyways to charge back up and, uh, I'm gonna defense here Now we are have way too much with all that air. So if the couplers are gonna break. All I basically have done, I went into neutral. So I am gonna want to uh, keep my DPUs uh, in, or not just my DPUs, I wanna keep everything Watch my dynamic brakes. I'm at 20 right now. And I am accelerating, but that's fine because I'm 10, uh, 10 under the maximum speed limit. So I do want to come up in speed. Again, I'm letting the train accordion a little bit right now, trying to figure out why they're having that problem that they told me. So we have a slight increase in our accelerometer. The knuckles are looking great. Knuckles, uh, I think, have been up to 150 so far, but that was and that was with the air on. Starting to see a little uh, increase here as I as more of the train is coming uh, down. 
I'm at 20. I'm watching that accelerometer right there in front where it says Excel. So far, everything is uh, looking pretty dang good so far. With the exception of entering that speed limit a little bit too high, uh, about 20 miles over speed limit, and I was talking about something else, not paying attention to the speed at that point, trying to figure out why I couldn't get my dynamic brakes up to dynamic brake eight, notch eight, but it did that time, just before it only, it would stop at six. But uh, we got her back under control, a little help from some air. And uh, we're about halfway through the canyon now. What are we on, main, main number two? There's a detector on the other end of the canyon. A 55 speed limit uh, coming up here pretty soon. This could be uh, it right here. That's our 40, okay? We got 40 at 40, uh, 480.6 on the mile marker, and then one mile is our 55 limit. So I'm gonna go ahead and release uh, some of the dynamic braking so that we can speed up a little bit. bring some of it back on just to uh, not get crazy out of hand because most of my train is still behind that speed limit sign. I'm just watching everything. Most of my coupler, so we go over 100 there. A little bit of uh, accordion, but somewhat stabilizing. And my uh, distance counter, I marked it at the 40 speed limit signal, or the sign, the permanent temporary speed limit sign. I'm able to hold it uh, about one mile over, well, yeah. Just about one mile over the speed limit from the uh, area that we were in. More of the weight's coming down on us. We are speeding up slightly. another block uh, of the canyon to go. Saying hi to y'all. Clear. It's an intermediate signal. That's what I meant to do. Look that way up. There's the number boards, intermediate signal. Uh, distance counter, we just hit that. So we are at 30 miles an hour and a 40. 31 actually. Accelerometer is staying that we're uh, speeding up by two miles per hour. I think that's per hour. Down to uh, coming downhill about uh, 1.35 grade right now. 
percentage, 1.35 percent. I have just uh, increased my dynamic braking slightly, and the DPU and the M, the DPU and the mid DPU, the mid DPU and the rear DPUs have answered. That's slowing our Excel a little bit. Couplers are looking good at 9K. Make that 90K. I had to get a drink of water. This should be our 50 mile an hour speed limit. Or 55, I should say. Oh, that's full speed. That's 70, 70 miles an hour. That's not for us, though, I don't think. Start a counter there. Our current track speed is 40. Put some dynamic brakes on just to maintain uh, 40 or below. 1.5% grade headed down. Good eye here coming up on Valentine here pretty soon. Wallet, I think uh, we we got through the area that was trouble, but we'll continue on. miles an hour that's uh, where we wanted to keep it track speed now 55 the counter says 300 feet we can hit 55 so we'll go ahead and come off on the dynamic slowly We've met our distance counter. Here, a little bit of movement back there. The DPUs are just responded. And uh, we got a level crossing. I'm watching the grades 1% right now, so uh, we'll ease into some more dynamic braking. Two and a half. Coming up a little bit more, some more dynamic braking. We'll go up to uh, 70 and see where that puts us. Or 74. That's where we're going to stop. Waiting on the DPUs to respond. And answer up. Right at the 54.5 uh, mark. Accelerometer just zeroed out there. It should. Uh, Maybe flex a little bit back and forth. So half a mile over the uh, to the maximum speed limit. Keep a close eye on that. See if we can keep running. Uh, oh, now it's even speeding up a little bit more. Been just some of the weight coming down. I didn't hear that. I didn't see a whistle board, but I wasn't looking at it. So we are slowing down slightly. That's fine. I'm 
got a clear signal. So we made it, uh, made it through the canyon. We're in Valentine now. About uh, 12 miles to go to our stop, our current stop. And uh, we've slowed down even more, so we'll come off on the dynamic brakes a little bit. Accelerometer it should be uh, this gonna go downhill a little bit. You can see we're going up and down, like bumpy. This is a steeper part here, and so I can see we're gonna bring in some dynamic brakes here as the head end's just headed down, but uh, the train behind us will start pushing us here in a second. This will give the DPUs a chance to catch up by the time that they're on the, the grade here. That's a crossing. I don't know, nowhere. So everything's looking good so far. Coupler's doing good. Get some whoopies on the uh, some whoops here in the rails. So far, it's not been anything we haven't been able to handle. Look at our uh, DS screen here. We've got to clear up to uh, fall in something. So we're going to uh, cancel our route here so that we can take that red, get a stop at the next one. So we're in the block. We're clear all the way up to uh, qualify. We're still slowing while well, the grade the grade is up and down up and down slightly so I'm going to come off uh, dynamics here as you can see it's flattening out a little bit with the bump right here and it's like boop. you can see it, it goes down and then back up and then kind of flat again but here we're going down And then we're gonna kind of go up and then back down, down into like a little valley and back up. I mean, that's just the terrain. They've smoothed it out the best they can when they laid the track, but that's, you know, that's what you get right there. So we can go up to 55. We've got some rocking action going on. Saw a crossing, crossing coming up, but nope. There is a siding. That's uh, not a siding. It's the end of a. Uh, it's like an engine siding, power siding. 55. We're gonna get. We're gonna kind of come up and turn the curve here. So I see that coming. So I'm gonna put. Uh, let's just go at 25-ish. We got 30. That's fine. 
That way the DPUs can answer up as we uh, come up around this corner. Rack speed still 55. Again, we're only dealing with two, well, with 2.7 HPT, which is a little bit more than what the sub requires. 2.3 is the requirement for this area for Selegman. Add a little more dynamic braking from 20 or 31 up to 61, so we doubled it. Should start slowing down here a little bit from 53.1, which is under the speed limit. Just want to keep uh, keep everything running smooth. Next signal is in a mile and a half, mile and a quarter. Some uh, resistance on the couplers as we make that corner. Passenger can go up to 90 here. Congratulations, passenger train. You get all ass. Now we're headed up, so I'm gonna come off on the dynamics, let it uh, settle in, wait for the DPUs to go idle. Wait a moment, wait another moment before we give it power. Because I'm not fencing when I give it power, the front end, the head end is gonna give power, followed by the middle, so we'll watch it here, you see N1 on the lead, now N1 on Bravo. Charlie is idle, it should go N1 here in a moment. And there it did, I didn't see it because of the crossing, but uh, now we have the delay between the different mid and rear DPUs. We'll slowly uh, notch up from here as we are going uphill. And the rail driver, I wanted two, it gave me notch three, but we can deal with that. Looking here on the uh, DS map, we're uh, one, two, three, four blocks away. How long are those blocks? Who knows? Uh, each one should be able to contain, you know, my train. So probably right around 12,000 feet is what I'm guessing. My train's not that long. So our next signal is 4.4 miles. As we're slowly decelerating towards that signal. pretty far but uh, there is a down and an up again kind of goes down and back up and probably go down after that so bring it all the way to the signal and then uh, come to a nice stop hopefully so if we're this heavy 13 and a half thousand tons 2.7 HPT And uh, we're on a grade, our next signal 3.8. Probably gonna wanna start slowing to a better speed around the, uh, as, as, as long as we're going up, we can slow down faster, obviously. But if the grade changes to where we're headed downhill, we're gonna need to rethink that. At the two mile mark, I'm gonna start my deceleration. Try to get it down to about 10 miles an hour as we uh, approach that final signal. Three blocks to go. Got 
Coupler's still under 100, right around 100. We're decelerating, still headed uphill. miles so one mile to go 30 now looks like the grade might be coming down on us got a 0.6 but looks to me like it's going up but after we pass that signal it may go down and so then uh, we got to be prepared got to have a plan starts going down start decelerating a little bit faster or maintaining a maybe 25 The detector is 493, and the signal's about 499, so, you know, six miles. Six miles at 25 kind of sucks. I feel like I'm uh, starting to slow down too much for the distance that we got to cover, so I'm going to go ahead and, believe it or not, speed up. No, we know we got to slow down. We don't want to come in. We don't want to go 10 miles an hour for 15 miles. ENSF detector, milepost 493.3, main 2, ambient temperature 91 degrees. 92, that's pretty close. Uh, okay, so intermediate signal and then it looks like it's going flat, so uh, keep an eye on our power. If we weren't stopping, we'd just crank it, but we know we're going to be stopping uh, in order to uh, leave the session here. So I got two blocks to go. We're now going downhill, minus 0.19. So if I can maintain 20 miles an hour, I'm okay. Again, knowing that I'm gonna be stopping. As my speed starts climbing, I'm going to take off power and apply dynamic brakes. speeding up slightly but again I'm okay right now as we're uh, accelerating just knock it off one Let's check our signal distance 1.9 so we're at the two mile mark I am uh, speed is coming down even though we are going downhill kind of coming down A mile and a half to go for 20 miles an hour. Should be pretty cool. See there, I'm at 25 on the, uh, I was on the dot, and um, we're doing a little bit of accordion on the train.
Right. Thank God I didn't have my phone in my hand here inside of the locomotive, uh, texting anybody. Not paying attention to what's going on. We're at 27. Let's notch out. One mile from our red, our stop signal. Came to idle first. We are going downhill slightly. I'm in setup, dynamic setup on all the all the engines right now. The lead, Bravo, and Charlie. I'm gonna start applying dynamics. I'm coming around a corner, I can't see where the signal is anyways. Twenty-six on the dynamics. Let's keep an eye out for light up here. We are slowing down. We're at twenty-five uh, coming down. No, it's coming so there's no reason we can't get down to a slower speed there it is up there I think that not, may not be our signal it has to be oh maybe that's not our signal oops get back to where I was that's an intermediate okay so we're at 15 So I thought when it said next signal, it was, it was telling us when the next absolute signal was, but it's any signal, I guess. So intermediate coming up. So uh, we are going downhill now, we're at 15, so it's just gonna take longer is all. If we look here, we've got a whole nother block to go. So uh, yeah, we're gonna speed up again and watch what the, uh, couplers do yeah I thought that signal I said next signal I thought that was going to be telling us the absolute I've only run out here like twice now three times this is my third time I don't do selectman much I like I don't like doing road trains as you know for who have been watching me lately so I skipped the notch there, went from one to three, so hopefully that didn't hurt us. But uh, All There we are. We don't want to get up too crazy. 25 is probably good. So, I mean, according to this, we are... Uh, okay, so... I haven't seen Hackberry yet, or maybe that was what we already passed. Got a detector at 49, 493.3, and the uh, signal's at like 498-ish. So I've gotta be somewhere around this 489. I already go over a detector a few minutes ago. Let's keep an eye out for a mile post. Comes one up, or uh, one's coming up here on the left. Thirty uh, thirty-one miles an hour, almost thirty-two. 
one per one and a half, uh, one one and a quarter percent grade down. They're speeding up still. Here's the next signals. Let's see, that's not ours. I don't think. One mile. Approach medium. One after this, so we need to slow down to 30 anyways. Some dynamic brakes on to the up to 40. Came up to uh, right now 71 on the dynamic brakes, and we are uh, putting some pressure on those couplers. The good kind. Down to 35. <laughs> This will be entering the last block here, so the next signal should be one we're expecting. Let's look for a mile marker on here. So 4973, 4973, 97, 497, 493. The next one being 49. So now we have two miles, about two, two and a half miles. I see another set of signals up there, but well, those can't be ours. Here's 498, so those are ours, and I do see a red. Okay, well, there's those are our signals. So let's go ahead and uh, let's give her a lot of dynamic braking. Put some air on to get a stop. Utilizing reservoir is 80. Coming down rather quickly, they're 20. Come off on the dynamic brakes now. Leave the air on here. Okay, I'm gonna release the air. We're at 10 miles an hour, 11-ish, 10, 11. We are uh, about a half mile away, I believe. 1.3, mile and a quarter. Watching our speed, we are starting to speed up again because we've released the brakes. So if we want to stop at that red, we need to uh, get her slowed down now. Full dynamic brakes on. You see it's coming to uh, below 10 here. Great, we are 1% down. I don't want to stop this far away from the signal, so I'll come off on the dynamics all the way. 
See the couplers getting all angry. Just keep a little bit of speed on. See, as soon as I put on dynamics, it's uh, instantaneous up here. The rest of the train isn't responded though. So let me see if I can find a nice place to 20. Increase that a little bit more now. See, we're still speeding up, so let me get some more dynamics on again. So we went from our 10 up while I was texting uh, Face Man. All right, 99, so 0.8. And uh, I am comfortable right now with this Excel decel speed to be able to stop at that light. With everything else that's going on, we don't need to stop right at the signal, but uh, as long as you're in your block, you're okay. And we're, we're only in ours right now, so that's good. I'm just gonna creep up closer to that signal though without going past it, hopefully. Now the train's uh, beat, beating us into uh, to go faster. It's all slamming in on us. Now we know on the grade because we just did it. If we uh, if we use dynamics, we can get it slowed pretty quickly. So so far, it's not going to be a large deal. Trying to feather it so that we come in. We're getting pushed a little bit and pulled and pushed and pulled, but just working the uh, dynamics. Come in slow and then we won't run that red. Come in fast and you never know. You don't know what's gonna happen. Well, somehow, I don't know, maybe he had a train that was kind of corrupted or something and, you know, I've had that happen before where it just kept blowing PCS for no reason. It was uh, really tough to figure out why it was. I relinquished the train, grabbed it back, and then I had some other problem, I relinquished it, grabbed it back, and everything was perfect. We didn't experience the uh, problem that we were reported as and using the same train in the same location. So we didn't do anything special. I believe they did the same exact way that we just did it. So I'm not sure uh, what the problem was, but um, if you're watching this and choose to comment, say anything about it, if you did it, then uh, comment down below. I'm sure I'll talk to you anyways. For everybody else, all we did was just uh, run a test here and I recorded it just to uh, show if there were problems or not. I was expecting problems, but we didn't have any. So I don't know. It's just another run here. We're running uh, 
Crane Train, the ISI bar, BNSF 9182. That's the lead engine. We're gonna get her stopped here in just a moment. So uh, thank you everybody for watching. If you have any questions, then come join the Mateo server if you're not on it already. Do a little check ride, get you in there and have fun. Just don't break stuff. So, or the Depot Plus. If you enjoy that, you can go there as well because uh, both places are just as fun and one is uh, more railroading than the other one. The other one is definitely, Mateo's a lot of fun. A lot of a good, great place to learn with great people. Depot Plus, a place to expand your knowledge once you already know how to run trains. And uh, working with great people there too. So from the, uh, from the engineer seat of 91 BNSF 9182 SD70s, Kung Fu Beer House.